If you buy a car to go to your office, would you consider buying a different one to go to other locations? Using vertically integrated stacks is equivalent to this, you use a different stack for each network function. It would make much more sense to have a single virtualization platform running all the network functions. I'll use as an example to illustrate the hardware software decoupling, the use of a personal computer. When you buy a personal computer, you are buying hardware and an operating system, and on top of that, you paste your applications. It's actually these applications, the one that determines which are the minimum requirements for your computer. And this is minimum requirement. This is uh, your graphical card should be at least this powerful, but it's not imposing that you have to buy a specific model from a specific vendor. In an equivalent way, when we are building our virtualization uh, platform, we have hardware, we have a virtualization layer, and on top of that, we place our BNFs and CNFs. And we need to know which are the BNFs and CNFs that we want to deploy, because these are going to impose the minimum requirements for our system. Network functions are a subset of all the workloads that we can virtualize. These telco workloads have stricter requisites, but the really strong ones belong to a subset of these. These are the ones who require enhanced platform awareness. This awareness of the platform is usually simply to know which CPUs belong to the same physical core, or to know how to explore locality by using the memory, the CPU, and the NIC from the same NUMA. Just talking about APA does not justify the use of a, specific, of a specific hardware. It is true that, in some rare cases, the network function may need, for example, a concrete capability for the CPU or the NIC, and this forces to require a specific model of hardware, but this situation is exceptional. In general, when a manufacturer requires a specific model of hardware, it is either that they did not prepare the software to use other pieces of hardware, for example, not including the drivers, or that even if there is no technical justification, they did, not run, they did not run benchmarks on this other hardware, so they do not feel comfortable about what, they perform, what is the performance that they can offer. This should be a joint effort. The hardware that we have has certain requirements regarding power and cooling, but it's going to offer or it's going to guarantee some performance. The virtualization layer, it's going to have also some minimum requirements regarding the hardware, but the performance that they are going to offer is going to be guaranteed. And the BNFs and CNFs, in order to guarantee this performance that they are offering, they should be asking for minimum requirements regarding the virtualization layer and regarding the, the hardware that they, they are on top of. But they, does, they should not have a specific requirements specifying which is the model of the NIC or which is the model of the CPU. If we have a single virtualization platform, it could be completely integrated with our management and monitoring systems. While if we use vertically integrated stacks, each one of them will provide its own management and monitoring mechanism, and this will make our everyday work really much more complex.